Thank you very much, oh, Mr. Rabato. You do your job. Nobody thank you. Thank you for your service, Mr. Rabato. You do a job. Very dirty, dirty job. That's a Sticks song from 1983. And I wouldn't be making this video if I would have been able to add an extra link to this podcast I mentioned. I'm not just making this up. Uh, I found it today. Uh, I found out about this stuff. Like, in my home feed, I think last week, there was a guy on YouTube who has a channel as a military recruiter, and someone asked him in the chat, how uh, should I... Well, he was a military recruiter recruiter. He was recruiting recruiters for recruiting people into boot camp, into the military, the army and everything else. And it's very ironic, similar to some months ago, I thought of what if I was, what if I made insurance policies for insurance policies so I could become an insurance insurance salesman. And I looked it up going back a hundred years and found out that I might be onto something with that, something called insurance insurance. So if someone has a house or a car insurance policy, why not get that policy insured? Anyways, um, so I discovered this whole huge market of people uh, some year, you know, two years ago or so when I searched a movie, when I searched the keywords, how to escape the military. And that's, wouldn't that be like the question that someone's like, like the enemy of a U.S. military or any military really, wouldn't that be what they'd be asking themselves? How do I escape the military? But what's so strange is within months of people joining, they're asking themselves that the only thing that I can, you know, I should give a pause and give a moment of silence or something, but I do this week and see, let's see who's trying to escape the military this week. Um, this is not working out like I'd hoped. Um, let me change the words a little bit. How, how do us, how to quit the army? Like that movie in the army now with Pauly Shore. End it. Okay. Right. That's not searching this week, but if I search this month or this week, there's always new people and they don't realize that me, someone who's like has nothing to do with it, is watching, and it's sort of ironic. Anyways, yesterday, when that tornado came uh, in the morning, I was awake. I was just laying in bed, and so I was like, wait, why are they doing the tornado test this early? Because they only do it at 1 p.m. And uh, long story short, the Pink Floyd song from the Dark Side of the Moon album called On the Run it is like the third song of the album. It sounds just like a tornado. I think it's supposed to simulate that scene in uh, The Wizard of Oz of there's no place like home. I'm like clicking my <laughs> clicking my feet. There's no place like home. There's no place like home. Anyways, what I should have said in the video that I recorded yesterday was from Kylie McNogue's video, I want to go out dancing. And I think that's really funny. I didn't think at the time to say that. Nobody wants to be alone. It's when the chorus kicks in. I don't can't stand. When I go out, I want to go out dancing. So what I notice is when she says your arms, she originally, this is my mind read, I'm like a celebrity mind reader. Uh, because I read so much and I write so much, I sort of know. When she said your arms, what she was saying was, what she was thinking was your majesty. That's what they say in England, your majesty. And so when she says it in this song, your arms, just imagine she's saying your majesty. And it makes more sense. And I want to go, da go out dancing, right? When the tornado's on the way. And I don't know at what point unless someone has the lyrics linked that she says your arms but anyways yeah she's got some great music videos um here's a whole playlist curated i suppose i could click that one see what else i've been listening to um 
love at first sight. That music video is really something. Uh, I think it's on Facebook that it was like five years ago. There used to be a piano here, and in December, it was like around this time, if I search my Facebook feed, I made a music video of this song and I put myself in it with a projector on the wall. And it was like a really classic old school way of, uh, I don't know what, I don't know, I don't know what I'm saying at this point. Um, let's see what other songs. My eyesight's not very good. So this is one of my favorite videos. I talk, talk, I talk to you. So let me show what I'm talking about. Before I show what I'm talking about, let me show. This is Ali G, <clears throat> 2003 movie. I mean, Booyah Sasha, uh, Baron Cohen uh, movie from 2003, Ali G into House and West Stains Massive movie, uh, DVD, digital video disc rip uh, from digital onto a phone. And here's Sgt. Pepper from the late 70s. I gotta find out what that's about because I know the song, The Beatles, and apparently there's a movie about it with no none of the Beatles in it with some of my favorite actors, so I gotta check it out at some point. Um, where's the one with my uh, pants? So... That's funny, that's right there. Um, maybe I should big up the camera, I don't know. I'll turn that song on, that snow globe. Um, put myself in it. So, the two songs that have a cash register sound are gonna be Money, Pink Floyd from the Dark Side of the Moon album, and then that Paper Planes M.I.A. song. So, there I am in the snow globe. But, yeah, when I just sort of came across randomly this roadkill right here. Whoop, whoop. <laughs> I have my camera. All right, so what I say here. I'm going to give you to... Stinky, rotten. Uh. Keister off my property. Dirty, rotten scoundrel. Steve Martin movie from around the year I was born. So I wondered, maybe it was playing dead. I watched a documentary on opossums in America, and they play dead. They, like, secrete an ooze, like the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Part 2 movie from the 90s, The Secret of the Ooze. They secrete an ooze. They lay down and they start stinking and like open their jaw like they're dead. And so maybe it was playing dead, I thought, until I got bad news. So one of these videos, I, I think it was this one. Yo, man, I'm gonna give you to the count of 10 to get your no good, lying, yellow, cowardly, stinking keister off my property before I scrape it off with my boot. Uh, that's a uh, possum that's, uh, we'll just say he's not as alive as he used So, and then now yesterday there was another squirrel. I saw two vultures in the grass right on the curb as I rode by. I came within feet of them. They didn't even fly away. Uh, that was last week. But, yeah, the Roman Legion hoplite, Greek hoplite uh, thing that I have on my helmet is for scraping roadkill. That's just what I realized as I made it because I tried to imitate the Marvin the Martian cap and then I researched Marvin the Martian yesterday and it said he's he's based on a, a Roman god of war Mars and he's dressed like a Greek hoplite. They wear that kind of skirt looking thing and they got a spear and a helmet that looks like that and it's for scraping something, you know, off, off the you know, the street's got to eat, and I think that's everything. Uh, I'm going to go pick up some breakfast, maybe. What time is it? 
Boyaka, Boyaka. I have to look later because my eyesight's so bad. I got glasses though. It is eight in the morning somewhere. Six in the morning. Therefore, if I got some time, it's time for time for some mission tortillas in the microwave. Ding, fries are done in the microwave. Ding, fries are done. Ding, fries are done. Egg whites. Those are hash browns. Uh, Ross, Ross Geller from Friends. Um, not so friendly after the show ended. It's uh, Ross from Friends. He hasn't been so friendly since the show ended, though. Unfriendly Ross from Friends, New York City. Your life is spinning out of control. Uh, it seems like you're always stuck in second gear. Uh, when it hasn't been your day, your week, your month, your decade, or even a dozen years, but I hate most citizens, but I love most government workers or government officials. They're not citizens. There's a difference. And... It's the exact opposite for places outside of where I live. Foreignly, I love the citizens of foreign places. I love citizens of foreign places, but I hate their government and their stupid faces. But da, da, da. That's just how it goes. And I don't know, what a random vlog of random things. That's all. And that dar darn tornado from yesterday, I had something to say today about it. It was something. But yeah, GameStop headquarters, Grapevine, Texas. Uh, the E1, those are, that's like a playful tornado. Um, it, was, it would be a shame. It was kind of shameful that it was so small. Um, if it was like an E5, like in that movie Twister with Jodie Foster. Oh, I forgot to do one thing. I forgot to show the podcast thing. Sometimes this... This uh, icon is up in my notifications up at the top. And it's like, what is that icon? Is that some kind of like dating app? No, it's not. It's the Google Podcast app. And so here's the tribute episode. I'm only three minutes into it. It's more fun for me to just browse my home feed in YouTube, even if I'm not watching videos. Like I'll listen to a podcast and just browse my home feed on YouTube, watch my own videos maybe with no sound. If that's possible, that's one of my most favorite things to do. That's one of my favorite things to do. Let's do it. Um, and that's a song from Walk Hard. Uh, as in the I Would Walk 500 Miles song. Um, he says that in the, in the song. And so for Christmas, I do Arnold Schwartz Sings. For example, that 500 Mile song. I would walk 500 miles and I would walk 500 more and I'll be back to walk another 500 miles just to fall down at your door. Ba -da -da -da. Ba -da 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 -da. So that's all. That's Arnold Schwartz sings. And he also does Electric Avenue. We're gonna walk down to Electric Avenue. And that's it. And drive one electric car. That's all.